My crypto hero Snano Luteus decided to get freaky again, and now there's a small cloud of fry in the tank. To feed the youngins, I'm going to need some baby brine shrimp. To get baby brine shrimp, I'm going to need to make a baby brine shrimp hatchery. Using Solid Gold's tutorial, we're going to make a simple and easy hatchery. To do this, we'll need two plastic bottles and supplies to run an airstone and a lamp. That's it. Trim off all but the bottom few inches from the first bottle. This will be used as the base for the hatchery. Next, cut off the bottom couple inches from the second bottle. Place this bottle capside down in the stand. There you have it, the basic brine shrimp hatchery. If you want more stability, feel free to tape together the two bottles. An alternative to a two bottle design is to repurpose an old orange juice jug. After you've got your daily dose of vitamin C, just trim off the bottom portion. The flat cap works well as a base. You can glue on a larger base for more stability if you wish. To hatch the eggs, we will need to keep the eggs in constant circulation. We achieved this by using an air pump. I ran airline tubing and an air stone to the bottom of the hatching chamber. Follow the directions on your container of baby brine shrimp eggs. It's usually at a certain amount of water. Turn on the air pump and dial it back to where the eggs are in constant circulation but not bubbling out of the tank. To initiate the hatching process, we need to provide some radiation. No, no, put those uranium-235 chunks back in your secret lair, you supervillain. We need light from the visible part of the spectrum. A little desk lamp will do the trick. The light will activate the eggs and also keep them warm. A temperature of around 80 degrees Fahrenheit seems to be pretty good at getting nearly full hatching after 24 hours. If you have a warm room for the house, that would be preferred. Lower temperatures should work, just may take a bit longer. Once everything is set up, it's time to wait. After 24 hours or so, the water will have turned from a clear to a light brown haze. The haze is the baby brine shrimp. Turn off your pump and let the system settle. The eggshells will float while the shrimp will mostly sink to the bottom. I used a turkey baster to suction out the shrimp. You can filter out the water by using a tea strainer. Add the shrimp to the tank and watch your fishes munch. Turn the air pump back on and you can keep those shrimp in use for quite some time. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be sure to follow me at facebook.com slash aquastudent. Tank on, amigos.